So hello everybody, welcome back. Here we are working on what is an oil leak. I wasn't thinking of working on this. I wasn't actually gonna plan on doing anything today, but I walked past the tractor and I saw some oil on my footrest. And I started taking a look. The easiest way to look at this was to inspect the hoses and I saw a little bit of shine on the hoses that was covered with grass. So there's this plate here, it gets into where the valve body is. And you can see the valve body right there. And then down there you'll see that's where the, uh, I think they call that the trunnion, where you can put your various implement attachments. So I uh, took that, four screws hold that cover, so I took that off. And I saw a little bit of oil, but nothing really much coming from this valve, from what I can tell. I don't have a leak up here. Um, it's, I'd call that dry. I mean, there's always going to be some oil because it's under pressure. But I think my problem is coming from here because this was all covered in oil up, up here, sprayed. But this is really where the problem is, I think. So I think it's that little guy right there. I have to remove this little Allen screw here. That'll, this will come out. All right, so I took this brake pedal off. I thought it would be helpful to show you how that goes on. So you have a washer that goes on up there. And then you have this ring that goes on right over there. And in that is a bushing. And that bushing, I think it goes like this. And the brake, the bushing goes on the one side of this brake pedal. Then you've got another bushing that goes on that side of the brake pedal. And then you've got this keyed Allen that locks it all together right around there prevents that from moving so I've already loosened these I'm just gonna loosen this one get these hoses in an upright position this was the original not original this was part of the kit this o-ring here Move this out of the way this is gonna want to flop so let me set you down. I'm just gonna undo this one. We'll take this over to the bench. All right, so I took that circlip out. That wasn't difficult. As long as you have a circlip tool. Now, I just wanna... Ah. I just want to uh, get that out. Let me see if I can put this in the vise. Here it comes. Yep. Now I can tap this. Where's my rubber mallet? There it is. There it goes. Alright. So you just want to put this end in a vise and just tap it out. You can tap it up against these things. And you're not going to be able to see in there, but I want to inspect in here because I saw a little bit of metal right here, which I don't like to see. Okay, so overall, I got a little bit of got a little bit of scuffing in there. These look like I got to inspect these, but I can't remember if they're, yeah, there's three of them there. There's three of them. I'm gonna see if I can't use some O-rings in my kit. This O-ring's in good shape. The only problem is I think it's a, it's turned, but it's got a little kink in it, but it feels good. I don't feel any chunks or anything, so that's good. That's the one I wanna look at. So I gotta take that half inch nut off. That was 9 16 not a half inch. And it's a locking nut. So you can see that it's got the whole square in it. Okay. 
take this off. Okay. So it's going to be hard to see in there, but I got to get this thing out. It looks like it's a little chewed up. Feels a little brittle too. Not brittle, just feels hard. Here comes. This was what was leaking the last time 10 years ago. I mean, 10 years isn't really bad. I think our washing machine doesn't last 10 years now, so. A little bearing, or bearing, a little rubber bushing. It is hard, that's my, this this should be soft and kind of pliable, but that's why I'm having a hard time getting it out. Even with a pick, it doesn't want to come out. So I'm probably just gonna have to do it from the front and then hopefully find a new one. Yep, here it comes. Yeah, oh, yeah, I just put a hole in it. There we go. All right, so that's the, I don't know why this camera, spend all this money on a new camera, it won't give me a close up. There's a little uh, seat that that sits in. Got some dirt in there. And then, Here's the uh, gasket, and that's my problem. It's hard. I remember when I did this, this thing was rubbery. This thing is, this is hard. So this has got to be replaced. I'm gonna go look and see if I can find a replacement for that. Uh, if I find a whole kit, then I'll replace it. But I remember this kit was rather expensive when I bought it from Toro. Um, so I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find and then we're gonna put this whole thing back together All right, so I think what we're gonna do is call this part one. We're gonna look for this little rubber O-ring here. That's kind of unique because it's kind of got a step in the middle a little I don't know. It's a little weird. It's got a little It's a different size Not a regular O-ring. So we're gonna look for that and if we can also find a kit to replace the other stuff, we might as well do it all, right? I mean, why have to tear it into it in another few years when these things go? So we'll look for the kit. And if any of you know of a kit, put it down in the comments section below. That would help out. I'll fire up my Googles, see what I can find. And then I um, want to thank everybody for watching. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Little tractor icon down there. And um, we will uh, see everybody really soon. So thanks a lot for watching.